Welcome to day 150 of our Big Cloud journey. I'm Ed Trastenstein here with my twin brother, Brian, who's still on vacation. Don't you ever work, Brian? You know, we got, it got kind of extended an extra day, but uh, I'll be back home in about probably like 30 hours or so. And I, I can still work from vacation. Just because I'm on the beach doesn't mean I can't work. And 150 days, I mean, that's crazy. It seems like we just celebrated our 100th day. So I, I think it's kind of, it, the time seems to be going fast. And I guess that's a good thing. I guess we're having fun, right? Yeah, I mean, that's like five months, five months worth of big clouding. Yeah, five months. So we're five months in. And uh, that's not a whole heck of a lot of time. I actually looked it up and five months into Bitcoin, the Bitcoin price was 10 cents. Five months into Ethereum, the Ethereum price was 36 cents. And five months into Dogecoin, the Dogecoin price was like a fifth of a penny. So I, I guess we're kind of ahead of the curve since cloud. Yeah, cloud so we're like, you know, we're at what, like 10, a thousand times the price of Bitcoin at this point. Like, yeah, so, so we're doing yeah. pretty well. I, you know, but I, mean, I don't, I think the price is a little manipulated right now. But once it, once I think we see it hit point base, that manipulation should probably at least subside some. It's going to be harder to hold the price up once there's more people having the ability to trade it. But yeah, I, I mean, I think it's a great start for the first five months. Like, I don't think if we went back five months ago and imagine where we'd be at today, I don't think anybody would have guessed we'd be this far. And, you know, the, the, a lot of people are like, oh, we need this, we need this. It, it's taking so long to, you know, market it to bring more top influencers on the platform. But really, you know, in the whole scheme of things, you're comparing it to Bitcoin and Ethereum. But if you compare it to other social media websites like Twitter or Facebook or MySpace or, you know, Instagram, they were, they were well behind this at this point in time as well. So I, I think we're doing pretty well. We're doing pretty well right now. Yeah, I, I just use the word well like 10 times in that sentence, but go on. Yeah, you got to really try and improve your vocabulary. You got to find some new words. But yeah, yeah, I mean, and, and comparing prices like I did with Bitcoin and Ethereum right there, you can't do that. It's totally different market caps, totally different number of uh, coins out there. So, so so don't do that. That was just kind of a... But way you did just do it. Well, but, but I'm just showing how much, how far Bitcoin has come since those first five months. And people, people in five months after Bitcoin launched, people are claiming it was a scam still and that it was fantasy money. And same thing for Ethereum. So, I, I mean, we're, we're really, things have really developed in the last five months compared to where, what it could have been. And, and I, I think you can't make a judgment based on the first five months, uh, this could be a technology over the, for the next hundred years. So, so just, just keep that in mind. I think I, I was in a clubhouse room, I think it was two days ago, maybe three and some Bitcoin maximals came in and they're like, Hey guys, you know, they really want, they'd really love to hear you show BitCloud in the Bitcoin maximals room right now. You should really come and tell them about it. They're going to love it. Like trying to get us to go over there just so they could all attack us. And I, I, I just ignored the guy, but I wish I wish I could have said, if you really if you really want that, why don't you guys come here to a room that's about BitCloud so that it's not just one person going over to the Bitcoin maximalist room and getting attacked by all these, you know, vultures that are trying to basically wipe out every other cryptocurrency. But, you know, it's like you can kind of sense that some of the Bitcoin maximalists are a little bit scared, I guess. They shouldn't be, but I, yeah. I feel like Bitcoin maximalists feel threatened by other cryptocurrencies where they should be viewing them as compliments rather than competition. Exactly, exactly. If, if these other cryptos succeed, then Bitcoin's going to succeed even further. So I, I think it's a little wrong way to look at it uh, from the Bitcoin maximalist point of view, because when Ethereum becomes a huge currency, that didn't hurt Bitcoin. It helped Bitcoin because it pushes Bitcoin as kind of the reserve currency and, it, and Ethereum can kind of be a utility currency. So I, I think you guys got to, everybody should be working together because crypto is the future. And if you're going to be attacking one, uh, I, I think you're going to be attacking them all in a way. Yeah. So there wasn't really too much news today. I don't think there's really any news today, but um, so, I mean, we just had a little chat. Brian's going to go enjoy the beach again. And 
remember, do as Brian says, not as he does. Yeah, yeah. The one thing I noticed yesterday, and I posted about this, was that the Gringot, which is the the uh, account that sends clout to accounts that buy it on BitClout.com, they uh, actually sent clout to 80 accounts in the last 24 hours between, not the last 24 hours, but between 2 p.m. yesterday and 2 p.m. the previous day. So that 24 hour period, 80 accounts totaling $45,000. So, so people bought $45,000 worth of cloud on bitcloud.com in that 24 hour segment. And it seems like it is picking up uh, purchase wise. Um, I'm guessing probably because of new accounts coming on board with that $10, $10 um, bonus that you get for verifying your account. Yeah, so I, I think all signs are pointing in a positive direction. We'll see what happens in the coming weeks. I think we're expecting some stuff to drop in the next two weeks or so. So it's going to be exciting. Yeah. I think, that's a, I think it's a good place to leave off. And we'll talk to yep. you tomorrow on day 151.